Before this episode starts, here's the log from day 11, and here's the stats. Hey guys, it's Bendy Penguin 64 Welcome back to Pikmin. Today, we are going to be jumping into the Forest of Hope. I think that's what I said last time. I can't quite remember. It's been a little while since I last recorded. But yeah, if I recall correctly, we finished up the Forest Naval one day behind schedule because uh, I managed my bomb rocks very, very poorly. Just goes to show, all I needed was that one bomb rock. It would have all been fine, but you know, sometimes life's not fair. So anyway, now we're back in the Forest of Hope. We've only got one ship part left, which is guarded by a boss. And for this, I think we're going to want mostly blues. In which case, you know what? I think I'll take the whole shebang. And Oh, okay, well, we'll take mostly the whole shebang, I suppose. Uh, we've still got those two sprouts knocking about that uh, need plucking after they've been reincarnated. But I might as well leave uh, those at peace, to be honest. Like, I don't think we're really going to need them. I think, um, if I recall correctly, those will actually be red sprouts because like, those are all the Pikmin that we lost to that um, uh, ball bulb in that really unfair situation, like, those Pikmin should not have died. I'm convinced, I'm still convinced, even several days later, that death was not earned, it was a trick, I'm convinced. But anyway, uh, let's see, is everyone flowered now? Uh, okay, we still got a few leaves knocking about, but it'll do. I'm perfectly happy with this. Now, as long as they don't lag too far behind, this should all be fine, and, oh, I forgot, I forgot how slow some of these guys are. Oh, Honey Wisp there, but... He's not bothering anybody. We won't We won't bother him, and he won't bother us. Crap, 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 crap. He's bothering us right now, though. Okay, did he die? Did he die? No, he didn't. It's okay. I uh, got a bit too overconfident there, to be honest. Right, now, um, I don't think we're actually going to need to kill these guys, to be honest. Because there is actually a strategy that I have for taking on this boss. Like, um, if we were using any other Pikmin besides Blues, then yeah, we would definitely need to take out the Bull Borbs. But for the plan that I've got in mind, I don't think it's going to matter too much. We can just leave those there unless we wanted to... Wait a minute, hang on. Who's missing? Who's missing? You were... Oh, come on, guys. You were pushing the box just fine and then <sighs> fell off to the side. Slackers, for goodness sake. But anyway, as I was saying, um, yeah, for the plan I've got in mind, the only thing we're going to need those ball bulbs for, potentially, is to harvest their corpses... But, yeah, as it is right now, they shouldn't be bothering us too much. Oh, okay, he's all the way over there. You know what? Mm. Yeah, it's okay. 97 is more than enough. I'm going to leave him over there for now. Hopefully that doesn't come back to bite me at the end. And Oh, I just realized there's a really narrow pathway here. Oh, we're going to leave a few guys behind. Uh, okay, tell you what, you guys, you just sit over there, do your own thing. Here we go, this is the boss we're going to be fighting, except it's not that one, it's this one over here. This is a burrowing snagret, crap, 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 this is a burrowing snagret right here. It's like a cross between a snake and a seagull, and I think this might be my absolute least favourite boss in the whole game. Well, it's a contender for it, okay, there it is, that's how you want to fight it. When it comes out the ground, it might get stuck. And if that happens, you just want to swarm its beak, get everyone up onto its head. Because if I recall correctly, uh, I think it can take a little bit of damage from its body, but not very much. You want to focus mostly on its head. And okay, seriously, why is no one getting thrown? For some reason, I couldn't throw anyone just then. But anyway, yeah, as I was saying, I think this might be my least favourite boss. This is the one that I always look forward to the least, because I always lose at least a few Pikmin while I'm fighting it. But with that done, let's see. Oh, there it is. For a moment, I thought it was only going to give us pellets. That would have sucked because that meant that we fought the wrong one. I think there's about three burrowing snagrits knocking about this area. Two will drop only pellets. One will drop this, the Geiger counter. Every spaceship needs one of these, but I don't actually know what it's for. Every once in a while, it goes wild and lets out a loud... Uh, sorry. Haven't read in a while either. It lets out a lot of noise, but I never pay much attention to it, so it doesn't do me much good. I really should read that manual one of these days. Real men don't need instructions, Olimar. What are you talking about? And okay, okay, hang on, hang on, guys. Hang on, hang on, hold the phone. Okay, guys, I don't think you understood the strategy that I had in mind. What's supposed to happen is that if you bring blue Pikmin on here, then they will actually carry it back through the water because that way you don't have to worry about killing the bull bulbs or the other burrowing snagrits. It's not going to cause any harm. 
Now, come on, guys, turn around. That is good. That's what I wanted to see. This is exactly what I had in mind. Just turn around. Don't go back there through dangerous uh, territory. I just want to make sure that they don't go crazy over there. Okay, seriously, guys, you do want to watch out a little bit. There are ball bulbs over there. Although, mm, to be honest, they... I'm going to put my faith in those guys. I'm going to put faith in them and think that, okay, I think they'll be able to get back without bothering the dwarf ball bulbs. If you don't bother them, they won't bother you, okay? That is just the way it goes. Just stay out of their path. Just go your way. They will go their own. Right, there we go. Avoid that. And, okay, seriously, that noise is really starting to get on my nerves now. I was hoping that those blues still in the water were just going to go idle for a second because it's like, well, he clearly doesn't need us. No, they kept trying to run onto the battlefield. Well, points for, like, really being dedicated to uh, the art of war, but at the same time, that noise, that little paddle of noise was really starting to annoy me. This noisy gauge is always letting off spontaneous clicks and buzzers. It can be kind of annoying. Kind of like me. I've now recovered 22 of 30 parts, only 7 more, and we can adjust the ship's capabilities. Now hopefully we can also adjust, there we go, I was hoping to adjust the noise that the blue Pikmin were making. There we go, all sorted. Uh, so let's see, we've got 39 in the party, uh, let's see, did any get lost along the way? Oh, okay, those are all carrying back uh, pellets and stuff, so that's all fine. In which case, uh, let's see, we just got that one guy knocking about over here. There you go, he's not bothering anybody. And, oh, we just saw a pellet posy sprout for a second. We didn't get to see the whole animation, unfortunately, because it was kind of blocked off. But, yeah, it looks really cool when those things sprout. It's a pretty nice little detail. But, anyway, uh, let's see. We have less than... Wait, hang on. Not again! I'm sick of that. It's always the flowers that trip. Every single time. It's always the flowers. Why? Why is it always the flowers? Tell me, game. You tell me. Explain it. Uh, anyway, as I, was, as I was trying to say, um, we have less than half of the day left. No, sorry. We have way more than half of the day left. What am I saying? Um, but with that said, we have all the ship parts. We have absolutely nothing more to do, necessarily. So, I'm actually thinking I might just stop the day prematurely, to be honest. Like, I could get my numbers up a little bit. Although, let's see, we have 121 blues. I think it's about 100... Okay, 176 reds. I knew that was pretty high. So, I guess apart from getting my yellow numbers up, just for the sake of saying that I did... There's really nothing much else for us to do, so tell you what, here's what we're going to do. Just to uh, uh, just to draw the video out for a little bit longer. Did you trip upon getting out of the onion? That's pathetic. That's a joke. That's an absolute bloody joke. And wait a minute, what happened to the bridge? What the hell? What happened to the bridge? I don't believe that. How did... What? How did construction reverse itself on this side, but it stayed built on the other end? That's... I, I don't think I've ever seen that before. That's crazy. Well, today I learned that sometimes the bridges screw up. But anyway, uh, that doesn't matter. What does matter right now is that, yeah, just for the sake of saying that I did, I'm going to get my yellow numbers up a little bit more just to flesh the video out. Ha 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 ha. And then I think we can just end the day. And okay, right there it was a leaf that dropped. It was a leaf that tripped over. Fine, I will take that one. That one I will be willing to accept. Because that is what I might expect. Okay? As long as it's not a flower, then I don't feel like I've been completely ripped off. It still annoys me to a severe degree. But, well... Uh, my motto for the rest of the series springs to mind... It could be worse. That's it. That's just the motto for the whole series. Like I say, it could always be worse. Right, anyway. Uh, just get that corpse back to base. Then we will pluck all of those yellow Pikmin sprouts. And I think that will be a good point to end it off. Because, yeah, there's really nothing more for us to do. Other than actually admire the, the beautiful music that I've honestly not paid much attention to. I should have done that before. I should have acknowledged the soundtrack in this game. Like, it is great music. Uh, I'm not so fussed with the Forest Naval, but I love the Forest of Hope soundtrack. 
Like, listen to this. Like, listen to this on your own time when I'm not commentating over it. I do apologise. But yeah, it's gorgeous. It's lovely. Right, okay. Got a bunch of yellows. Very few of them are flowered, unfortunately. But I think I'll get that done another time. Right now, I can't be fussed. And okay, 93 yellows overall. Uh, that's probably more than we're ever really going to need, to be honest. So that doesn't really matter too much. Yeah, that doesn't bother me. So ultimately, yeah, we have every ship part in the Forest of Hope. We have those two uh, sprouts right over there that were reincarnated after that um, uh, 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 red ball bulb incident. But I think we're going to ignore it. So what do you say that right now... Let's see, there it is, go to sunset. We are going to skip ahead, end the day prematurely. In which case, this is going to be one of the shorter videos of the series. In fact, I think it might actually be the shortest video of the series yet, considering that right now it's only about 11 minutes long. But that's okay. Every now and then, it's nice to mix it up a little bit. Every now and then, it's nice to have the short to counteract the long. You know, that's pretty awesome. Right, okay, the dolphin's actually looking really complete now, I just noticed. That's pretty awesome. And what's even more awesome, we are leaving the Forest of Hope with a clean track record for uh, losses uh, at the end of the day. That is awesome. 12 days since impact. It's very strange. The scenery of this planet, which I once found hostile, now sometimes strikes me as surprisingly serene. That is some seriously epic alliteration right there. Perhaps the Pikmin have opened my heart to the beauty of this world. I even started thinking there were some parts I do not need. A daydream. I think we already established that uh, there's a bunch of parts that we're really not going to need. But, oh well, just hammer the nail in a bit further just for the people that weren't paying attention. Alright, okay. Nine lost in battle. That's, uh, that's not great. But, like I said before... I'm always losing at least a few Pikmin to the Boring Snaggerit. Like, I really do hate it. It's a very difficult boss for me to take on. I always lose at least a few. Because sometimes the head's a little bit hard to hit. And, like, it's a little bit unpredictable with where it's going to strike. So, yeah, I, I really don't like that boss. And I was actually quite lucky that it uh, got stuck when it was trying to come out of the ground several times. Because... I've actually had this happen before, where I was fighting the Borrowing Snag Grip for quite a few minutes, and I had to wait like six consecutive turns or something for it to actually get stuck when it came out of the ground. I don't know if it's random or if it's like every few cycles or something, but I do distinctly remember I usually get a bit unlucky with that fight, so that's actually one of my better runs, even though we did lose a few. But anyway, with that said, Forest of Hope, Impact Sight. Forest Naval. All of those are 100% completed. All of the other ship parts that we can get right now are all in the distant spring. So what do you say? We go there in the next episode, try and get it wrapped up as much as possible. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys next time.